Hey guys, this is Carolina Varsities. Uh, we're in week, uh, excuse me, we're in the 2015 season. We're in week 13, which is round one of our playoffs, but this is our final uh, best to last, and we've already done uh, 17 or 20, 22 through 16. Mm -hmm. So this will be 15 down. And these are, also, these are all the playoff teams here. Uh, the previous teams were not yeah, playoff teams. That's right. I'm uh, Matt Marr, the pit man. And after some consternation and constant <laughs> scribbling here, I've come up with the last 15 here. Uh, number 15 for me is Myers Park. Uh, they lost 24-0 to East Mech, and uh, East Mech got the number three seed as a result out of the Southwestern. Mm -hmm. uh, 14 is Audrey Kell, who lost 51-24 to South Mech. South Mech got the number two seed as a result. Audrey Kell got the number three out of the South Mech eight. Mm -hmm. um, number 13 was Olympic. Uh, Olympic won the big game 35 12 over Barry to get them into the playoffs as a number six team, which is probably one of the, the last, right. one of the last teams into the field. Uh, number 12, West Met, won 21 6 over Harding. They got in as a 15 seed in the 4 AA bracket as a result. Uh, 11, Providence lost 28 0 to Charlotte Catholic, but they get in as a 14 seed in the 4 AA. And number 10, East Mech won against Myers Park and uh, got the number three seed out of Southwestern. And kind of similar. <laughs> similar. <laughs> um, I guess the West Mech is the big difference for us two. Yeah, I'm all over the place. And <laughs> it's really hard, but I had West Mech at 15. Mm -hmm. The others are real... And all these teams are real close to each other, probably. Yeah, 10 through 15 is the hardest group, right? right? Because you got these are the teams that have been up and down all season long, and you don't know what you're going to get. So they could go on the road and upset someone in the first round, or they can go out and, and lose. So. Exactly. All right, one through nine. Here we go. Number nine, Independence lost 31 0 to Butler, but they still get the number two seed from the Southwest, and as a result. Mm -hmm. Uh, number eight, North Mech, lost 35-23 to Mallard Creek. They got in as a wild card into the playoffs. Uh, number seven, Vance, mm -hmm. uh, almost, almost beat Huff. Lost 28-27 in overtime. Uh, moved them up two spots as a result of that. Right. And I see you got them ranked the same. Then. I got them ranked the same. So far, we're the, I, I, I have North and Independence flipped from what you have them, but... Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't know. After as the more that if you make me think about it, I'll flip on the post <laughs> of what happened Friday night. But. Uh, number six, South Mech won fifty one twenty four over mm -hmm. Audrey Kill. Move them up one spot. Uh, number five, A.L. Brown won forty two six over Hopewell. No change in their ranking. Yep. You got those two. I've got those two flip. I sure do. I just think uh, I think South Mech's defense could. Uh, could do it there, but again, I think those two teams are close. And I, I could see that because A.L. Brown, and we'll get into it when they play up, and they lost a, a big player on their team. Yeah. Um, number four, Mallard Creek, they won over North Mech, but I did drop mm -hmm. them down a spot, not because they played bad, mm -hmm. but because I was so impressed with Butler, the way they won over Independence, 31-0. I just thought that was a dominating win in all aspects. Right. And uh, you got them... You got Butler at four. I got Butler at four, yeah. I, I've got Mallard Creek a good bit higher mm -hmm. because I do believe in a in a head to head they would mm -hmm. they would win again. I do. So you might want to go ahead and go through your number two because we're shuffled there and right. I'll explain. Well, I got two at uh Catholic number two. Yeah. They did win twenty eight zero over Providence. And number one for me was Huff, so no oh, change okay. in my right. top two there. Yeah, so and you've got it a little different. I've got it a little different. I've got it Huff, Mallard Creek, Charlotte Catholic, Butler, in that order. Mm -hmm. And because I, you know, if I look at this at head to heads, um, I still believe that as we're, we're both good on Huff, so mm -hmm. I still believe Huff is better than most of you people out there seem to <laughs> believe and want to give them credit for. <laughs> They're resilient and they know how to win. They won the toughest conference in the state. They beat everybody. They went I undefeated. Else, I don't know what else you got to do. I don't know. But I don't know. when I look at the others, I think that Mallard Creek has got a more complete run game uh, than Butler. Mm -hmm. And I believe that they, I, I, really, when I look at them, I got to flip over to the defense and what 
I think they can do defensively against Butler. I believe it'd be a good ball game, but I, I do think, believe. I, yeah, if the brackets hold up, that's gonna be a heck of a game. Mm. And, and I love, I love, like we said last week, I believe those defenses, man, in the top here, those top four defenses are no joke. Right, they are no joke, man. Um. If, if, Even though Vance put up the points that they did, we, Vance had we, a defense. <laughs> and they got, you know, I, I, I say that, but then Vance against Huff, right. in all honesty, their defense played well, mm-hmm. except for that last drive of the fourth quarter. Mm-hmm. I mean, Osborne returns a kick 94 yards. Osborne catches a big, you know, a, a big TD pass. Mm-hmm. Now, but big plays win ball games, whether, right. whether we want to see that or not. And a player like Osborne on the on the, you know, the field, he's going to make plays all the way around. But, uh, you know, I say Vance needs a defense, but their defense has played better. Mm-hmm. But they do have issues, and uh, those issues showed in that final drive when Nagy just ran, you know, basically they ran the ball down their throat. Right. right? Blocking the field goal to running it down. But you're right, you know, these other teams, the, the defenses are – seem to be more that we want to talk about than their offenses. Right, exactly. You know, each one of those squads have got some good offensive players. So what we got here overall, 15 out of 22 teams in these conferences made the playoffs. That's just good. That's awesome. Barry could have really, I think they should be in. Well, they're better than some of the teams that did get in. TCR, come on. Yeah, and and, you know. (laughs) Sorry. It, that's that's tough, and maybe there'll be a better system in the future. But well, they should have known, and you know that's what Olympic. You got to give Olympic credit. Yeah. Uh, they knew they had to win to get in, um, to even have a hope of, of getting on the bubble mm-hmm. uh, to get in. And Barry, all you had to do was win, and you weren't just in. You'd have been higher seeded oh, than yeah. what Olympic went in at. Oh yeah. Um, and down in the four, I probably would have got a good matchup. Right. So I know they were they were they were sick over there. But you it's, but you lost to West, tough. you lost to Olympic. So that's mm-hmm. why they're in and you're not. Well, they beat West, but Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting <laughs> that. You know, as an Indian I just can't handle that. <laughs> anyway. This the last best of last, so congrats to Huff there at the top. But yeah. now the playoffs start and this is where it really counts. All this is is for discussion. All this work <laughs> to get to this point, exactly. Thanks for watching.